What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC here. So today, showing you a little trick that I kind of found um, for your Red Cat Clawback, the one fifth scale truck here, the crawler truck. Um, I did go live yesterday, so I was already showing you guys also, but if maybe you didn't see it, and also this one will be tagged just for the Red Cat Clawback. Now I do have the Gen 8 here as well as kind of a demonstration as how loose the suspension is when it comes stock. Now this one here was super firm, but as of now, it's really soft as far as the suspension, it flexes and what have you. And uh, the reason all I had to do was, here's where the shocks were at before, as far as on these holes here. And it's the same on the back as well, it's identical. Uh, I just moved it down. So now if you notice, like if you have one of these, you're gonna already like do this. Super easy to do. I'm not doing hardly anything. This thing will flex really easy. Uh, so it's super soft, you know, you do this with your truck, it's gonna bounce quite a few times probably. But that's the way it should be. You know, your suspension. Let's see if we can get that in there again. So yeah, that's that's a nice suspension, especially for crawling and what have you. Um, I know some of you guys are gonna be like, oh, you're gonna make it faster. Also, you guys are probably checking this out like, whoa, what happened with your tires? All right, quick, here's what happened. I was making a video and I, I was wanting to change the color of the beadlock that was around here because it was red, shiny, I don't like it because it kind of reminds me of chrome and I wanted to make it black, make it tough looking. And uh, I removed the, the chrome off of the, uh, the bead locks. No problems there, I soaked them overnight and they came out white. But then I wanted to go ahead and change the color. And what you could do in the past I've done is I went ahead and I would uh, get the RIT dye, which is a powder, you know, for fabrics or whatever, but you put it in boiling water, you pour the, the mixture into the boiling water, then you, you put your parts in there and you let them sit for a little bit and uh, you just check on them periodically, you know, maybe it gets done in like 10, 15 minutes. But anyway, um, they would be whatever color you were trying to get. Of course, if they was going from white to I was trying to go black and uh, well, they warped on me. So that's that on that one in a nutshell, that kind of bummer, but here's the deal. Uh, because these have bead locks on the front and the rear, obviously. The bead locks in the front are much wider, so they kind of come in to the actual rim a little bit more, making it look a little bit smaller. But the back ones are super thin. So I went ahead and I, you know, uh, I ordered from Red Cat is a small little bead. So it's the, like the one that's in the back is gonna be in the front. I'm gonna, I am going to go ahead and paint them still. Anyway, that's being, that's what I wanna kinda show you guys, but I wanna go ahead and uh, show you the video. Just kinda running through the trails a little bit. And then also as far as just kind of a little update as far as how well this vehicle articulates now. And also when it's kind of jumping off, let's say a pavement onto the grass, that it, it's just a lot smoother and even just coming down, it's articulating a lot where before it was super stiff, wouldn't allow you to do that. So anyway, it's acting more like a, you know, a crawler. Should... 